Hi there, Jillian Kaplan here, and today we're going to go over Social Media 101, just the basics of how to post on social media, um, and really the kind of brand you want to create for yourself. So what I've come to realize is we have a lot of complicated social media trainings um, about exactly how to post and when to post and um, special hashtags to use and all that sort of stuff, but this is like the very basics, the very basics of really how to build your brand on social, what kind of stuff you should be posting, what kind of stuff maybe you shouldn't be posting, or understanding the consequences of when you actually post. So what you post about is your brand and the brand of the company. So that means you have to remember every single time you post that you are creating a brand for yourself and really a brand for whatever company you're representing. So if you're posting, you know, something really angry or you're always annoyed at, you know, some bad customer service or something like that, you're going to give off the vibe that you are sort of an angrier person, right? So it's really important to remember that as you're posting, you're creating your brand and you may or may not be giving off the vibe that you're someone that other people want to connect with, right? So if you're part of a brand that's really positive or really fitness focused or health focused or focused on natural care or something like that, and you're posting about, you know, going to McDonald's every day, or like I said, you're posting something super angry all the time and, you know, it's really special to be like a positive thing people are going to sort of wonder like is this really someone i want to associate with and here's the thing you can post about whatever you want you can post however you want what i want you to realize is that what you post creates your brand do you see what i'm saying so it's not that you can't or i'm going to say you know don't post anything like that or you know don't post anything negative ever of course like having a real persona is super important we all get annoyed but just be aware that what you're posting is putting out there what your brand is if you have a business even if it's not related to the brand, right? So if one minute you're coming on talking about your brand and all this positive stuff and the next minute you're like really angry at some first world problem, people are gonna be like, what's really going on here, right? So just because you have the freedom to say something doesn't mean you're free from the consequences of what you say. So think about that, right? Like I said, you can post about anything you want, you can post however you want, but you may not be free from the consequences of what you say. So you have to realize that as you're posting, like what are the consequences of this? Am I gonna piss people off? Am I okay with pissing people off? Because maybe the answer is yes, like I don't care who I piss off, I'm taking a stand, I'm getting on my, on my um, soapbox and I'm doing this and I don't care who's angry and I don't care who blocks me and I don't care who defriends me and I don't care what affects my business. That's fine. But you have to realize, even though you can post pretty much anything you want, right, obviously there are exceptions for like lewd pictures and stuff, you are not free from the consequences. You're free to post what you want, but you're not free from the consequences. So that's something really important to remember. Um, and the other thing is that there's no total privacy on social media, you know? So you think like, oh, Instagram stories and Facebook stories and Snapchat, and there are other platforms that, you know, have that 24 hour cycle where after 24 hours, it's gone. It's never really gone, right? People can screenshot it. There's archives. Um, there are ways people can find this information about you. So it's really, really, really important um, to make sure that you are aware that what you're posting, like I said, can have consequences, isn't total, total privacy, and really may not ever go away, even though you think it does. And you know, the reason I say this is because I run, you know, this health and fitness side business. And I have a nine to five at a very large employer. And I mostly run my social media business, um, health and fitness business on Facebook and Instagram. And that is just the best platforms for that. Whereas, you know, for my nine to five, I mostly post on LinkedIn and Twitter because that's where my audience is for that, those platforms, right? And what I want to have happen is if someone from my nine to five finds my Facebook or my Instagram, they're still like, oh, this is totally the same girl. Like, yeah, she's not posting about, you know, techie stuff like she is on Twitter and LinkedIn, but her, the way she talks, the way she comes across, her overall attitude or overall persona is the same, right? 
Same thing if someone um, at my on my fitness side is on my Facebook and Instagram and finds me on LinkedIn and Twitter, they're going to be like, oh, it's totally the same girl, right? It's the same persona. I'm creating the same person. I may be posting about different subjects, but I'm still the same person. I want people to be able to see that. And sometimes I cross post, you know, I share things across platforms that are applicable to both. And I would never be embarrassed if someone from my nine to five found me on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube. I would never be embarrassed because I know that what I put out is me and real. And maybe I don't want them, you know, seeing me in a bikini in my before and after shots, but that's who I am. And I'm okay with that. And I know that when I put it out there that, you know, I could, anyone could see this, right? The CEO of the company that I work for could see this. And I have to be comfortable with that and knowing the kind of content I'm putting out. So, um, we're going to talk about, you know, kind of how that works. And I have a bunch of notes here. That's why I keep peeking over because I kind of put together this whole video for you all. So there is not a true separation between your personal and professional personas. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys. There is not a true separation. You should be the same person across all your platforms, no matter what's personal, no matter what's professional, um, no matter what's a combination of both, you should be the same exact person. So whatever platform someone finds you on, they know it's you and they're not like, this girl's like really positive on this platform and she is like really nasty to people over here and I can see her leaving nasty comments and stuff. People find those, right? So make sure that you are giving away the same person. Um, so there are really three options when you're talking about like posting about controversial stuff. The first is don't post about it. Like if it's controversial, you feel like it could cause a rift, just don't post about it. And that's a fine approach. These are all fine approaches, by the way, there is, they're all equally as good just to be clear. Um, but that's an easy way, right? Just don't post about it. The second way it's post about it in private groups. So maybe if like it's a political thing and you're in a political group that sort of agrees with whatever political stance you're taking, maybe just post it in there and discuss it in there. And then it's sort of kept more private. Now, granted, like I said, it's not ever completely private, but a lot of these groups, people can't see the stuff in unless they go into that group specifically, right? Um, and then the last way is to talk about hot button issues in a respectful way so that you don't alienize people. And this seems really obvious. You're like, why would I ever try to disrespect people? But just think about the way that you word things, right? And I say this all the time. I remember when I was struggling um, with my breastfeeding journey and people would say, you know, are you still breastfeeding? Are you still pumping? Instead of just like, oh, are you breastfeeding? Are you pumping? Think about like the difference in that, right? Is your baby walking yet? That sounds way cruder than is your baby walking, right? So just think about that and think about the way you word things and make sure that you're being respectful of other people. That's like a very small issue, but just in general, like it's okay to voice your opinions, but make sure you're doing so in a way that doesn't alienize other, alienate, alien, yeah, alienate, alienate, alienize, alienate other people. And really understand what your brand says about you, both professionally and personally. So if someone came and found you on social media or on a website or anything like that, and they saw your first post, right? They only saw one post of yours. Would it be something that would go, oh, I'd love to learn more about this person. I'd love to work with this person. Or would it be something where they're like, ooh, no thank you, right? So think about that with every single post. Whether you're posting about business or you're posting about personal, what do you have that people would want to keep coming back for? So really social media should be fun with your own brand and your own voice. And it's okay to bring in some elements of the company, but it's really about you. Um, social media should be 80% personal and 20% business. Okay, so that's one in every five posts should really be focused on business. It's not to say you can't mix business into your personal posts, but one in five posts is like a business post, okay? Think about it this way. Social media is the new handshake. You never go to a meeting or an interview looking or talking a mess. You always want to make a great first impression. So if someone came to your page and saw your first post, 
what would be their first impression. Go now, go look at it, right? Um, first impressions are made when those other people look you up online. So if someone Googles your name, probably your social media is gonna come up as one of the first things they find. And that's gonna be your first impression or their first impression. Just keep that in mind. Um, and then like on that same note, what impression do you make if your social media is neglected? So what I mean by that is you set up this whole profile and then they see that like you're not consistent in your posting or your follow-ups or anything like that. Are you someone they'd want to work with? Because they're going to be like, well, is this person going to follow up with me? They never, they're not consistent with their social media. They're not consistent with, you know, following up with people on here. Why would they be consistent with me? So there's a lot of reasons to be consistent, you know, algorithm reason, reasons um, and reasons, you know, for people to continue to see your stuff. But also people want to see you be consistent because that's an impression of you. Like, are you consistent or are you a flake? Right? How can we advise others on their digital reputation as you begin to grow a business if you aren't consistent with your own digital reputation? Right? Just throwing that out there. Okay. And now I'm going to give you a bunch of my top tips. So um, have, a, have a photo. Don't be a gray box. <laughs> it should be personal yet professional. So um, a warm smile, you know, not blurry, not weirdly cropped, um, very basic picture, you know, not half naked, not um, wearing something really obscure, like something that shows your face, shows a smile, shows that you are there. This is another pretty obvious one, right? Complete your profile. So people are more, four times more likely to find you if you have a completed profile on any of your social platforms. Tell your story. People don't buy products. They don't. They buy people. And you need to make sure that you're communicating that story across all of your platforms. People don't buy products. They buy people. And if your story is good enough, you could sell ice to an Eskimo, even as a terrible salesperson like myself, okay? Use your profile to communicate who you are and why people should care. Be a person. Seems really obvious, right? But like, who are you? Why does anyone care who you are? Like, be a real person. Don't be a brand. People can go to your brand's Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or LinkedIn or Twitter and find all about that brand. That is not what they want to buy. They want to buy you as a person. Make sense? Now, tip number five goes into kind of the keep it active and don't abandon ship. So you spend all this time, you set up your profile, you have your picture, you start to tell your story, you're using your profile to communicate who you are and why people should care. And then you quit. You quit doing what you're doing. So what does it do? It hurts the brand. But why do you really care about that, right? But it hurts your own brand and it teaches your followers you aren't committed to communicating. Think about that. It says to your followers, oh, she's not really or he's not really committed to communicating, so why would they be committed to me? No one wants to follow someone who isn't committed. <laughs> Plain and simple. I'm not talking about getting out there and posting 20 times a day. I'm talking about one post on your main social media platforms a day and maybe 10 stories, right? Easy, easy stories. I'm not talking about 50 posts a day. I'm talking about consistency. If you are not consistent, you are going to see un, seem un, uncommitted and people are not going to want to work with you. That is like a serious truth bomb. Um, you are more than a work bot or a corporate marketing machine, okay? Seriously, 
you are not a corporate marketing machine. Like I said, people can go to your corporation's page and find out about it. They don't need to do that through you. On your personal page, you need to be you. You don't, you are not this, the brand that you're representing. You are you representing that brand. That brand is not you. Does that make sense? You are, you are you representing that brand, but that brand is not you. You're not a corporate marketing bot. You're not a monkey. You are you. That's really, really important. Choose in who you and what you want to be known for and stick to that. So um, what I recommend is six topics, three areas for your business. So if you're in health and fitness, maybe it's cardio and family meals and easy meal prep. Or maybe it's weightlifting um, and grocery shopping or healthy baked goods right? Like there are, there are areas that you can be experts in that people will come to for your business. And then pick three areas that have nothing to do with your business that you feel like you want to post about. So maybe it's animal welfare and being a toddler mom and um, being a working mom or working dad or a cat rescuer um, or, you know, a twin parent um, or a couponer or Someone that really likes to do their makeup, you know, or their hair. You do awesome stuff with your hair, funky colors, whatever. So three things that are business focused that you're experts in and three things that are family focused or not family, but personal focused. Once again, 80% personal, 20% business for your content. Okay. Connect on a human level. We have corporate pages. Don't be that page. Don't be a walking advertisement. Be you. Okay. When you eventually share about the business, people will want to connect with you if you are that person. Because you build a relationship on commonalities, not marketing messages. People buy people, not products. So they want to come to you for your product because they connect with you, not necessarily because they connect with the product. Be consistent. Like I said, you've defined your rhythm and what works for you. If you know that you can only post once a week, then you need to make that commitment to post that once a week. But at least you have a cadence that works for you and your business. Like I said, my suggestion is, once a day on your main social platforms, you should have one or two and 10 stories. That's what's working best for a lot of people. But if you can't do that, commit to every other day, but commit to something that you can commit to. Commit to something you can commit to. Just still flipping my notes over here for you guys. And once you start, figure, figure out a rhythm where you can keep going, okay? Use crawl walk, run. So what does that mean? So basically, if you're not ready to start posting, go listen to other people. Look at who your target audience is that's interested in your per the same personal things you are, right? Those three personal things that you're going to post about and you're going to connect with people about. Go find some other people that are like that. See what they're posting about. See their content, right? And connect with them. Like start looking at that stuff. Do some listening. Okay, so crawl, start looking at their stuff, right? People that you feel like you might want to interactive, interact with. Walk, start engaging with them. Build relationships to get to know them. Run. This is where you start posting. This is where you start putting out your own content that you know that your audience is going to want because you have crawled and walked with them, crawled looking at their stuff and walked engaging with them. Be nice. Have fun. This isn't a chore. If you do this right, you're going to meet so many amazing people regardless of whether or not they, they want to be in business with you.
And I feel that way completely. I have met so many amazing people and many of them have never purchased anything from me. But I am so thankful that I connected with them just because I connected with them as a human. Be nice, have fun, connect. If you don't know where to start, start with being a human. Seriously, start with being a human. Make a good first impression, tell your story, and continue to be active. So um, I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I haven't seen a training like this out there and I wanted to put it together. I just thought it was really important for people who are feeling stuck and don't know where to start. Walk, crawl, run, be a human, tell your story. Talk to you later. Bye.